Our new 200 series wall switches and dimmers include RGB LED indicators that can be programmed to change colors based on user preferences or when things happen in the house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that programming on a home seer system using simple event actions. <laughs> When you first install one of our dimmers or switches, the default LED color is set to white. If you'd like to change that to some other color, you can do that with a simple event action. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to change the default white color of all the wall switches and dimmers from white to magenta. So the first step in order to make that happen is to access the events area. So go to the view menu, select events, and then in whatever group you wish, you want to create a new event. Now I'm just going to call it change all devices to magenta. All right, so once I've selected that, now I need to come down to the green shaded row. This is where all the actions live. And I want to select the Z-Wave Actions option near the bottom of the menu and then in the Actions Modifier menu I want to choose the very top option which is HSWX200 LED Actions. Now I need to choose the device or devices. In my case I want to change all the colors for all the devices to magenta so I select all and in the LED Action menu underneath that I need to choose set normal mode LED color and then I can choose magenta. If I at this point click the play button it will change all the devices in my home to magenta. In this next example I'm just going to blink the third LED red on the master bedroom dimmer. Let me show you how that works. So come in here and I'm going to make an adjustment to the existing action. So the first thing I want to change is choosing the device. So instead of all devices, I'm going to select the second floor master bedroom dimmer. Then over here, I don't want to change the normal color of the dimmer. I just want to change one individual LED. So I'm going to choose set status mode LED color and then choose the LED. Now I can choose any one of the seven LEDs or I can choose them all. I'm going to select LED number three. I'm going to change it to red and I'm going to set the blink option to yes. Now when I run this you'll see the third LED on the dimmer blink red. Now as you probably noticed as soon as I sent a command to the third LED to blink it red all of the other LEDs on the dimmer turned off and the reason for that is Dimmers and switches can only be in normal mode or in status mode. They can't be in both modes at the same time. So as soon as I send a status command to a particular dimmer or switch, it will automatically switch to status mode. Once a device is in status mode, there are three different ways to change it back to normal mode. The first way is simply walk up to the device and manually operate it. If I dim the dimmer up or down, it will temporarily display normal mode while I'm doing that and then revert back to status mode. The next way to revert back to normal mode would be to clear the status of any LEDs that are currently glowing or blinking. In this case, I would send an off command to that third LED on this dimmer, and that would automatically set that dimmer back to normal mode. But bear in mind, when you do that, you are completely clearing the status. So whatever you set that status to indicate, you're not going to get an indication of that anymore. In this third example, let's say that you want to temporarily revert back to normal mode. Maybe you have some company coming over for the afternoon and you don't want to confuse people in the house. But after they leave, you want to revert back to status mode. How do you do that? Here's how. Go into the event action and change the action type from set status mode LED color to set device LED mode. 
Once you do that, choose normal. And then when I press the play button now, what will happen is that blinking red LED will stop blinking and the switch, the dimmer, will revert back to normal mode. Now, even though I'm in normal mode now, that status is still preserved. So if I go back and make an adjustment here to status mode and then click play button again, that dimmer will revert back to status mode. Well, that's about all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you have questions or problems, feel free to reach out to us directly. And thanks for watching.